Nareva is a very popular memory supplement. You've probably seen it advertised on television. It's a pretty straightforward supplement. It's only got two ingredients, those being coffee cherry and phosphatidylserine. But the $64,000 question is, does Nareva really work? And by work, I mean, does it improve your memory? Well, in one clinical trial, 71 older adults who had mild memory problems were reported to have about 35% better reaction times after taking either 100 milligrams or 200 milligrams of coffee cherry, and those improvements were said to occur pretty quickly within just seven days. And while all that is nice, let's remember Nareva is a combination of coffee cherry and phosphatidylserine, so what is the actual proof for the Nareva supplement itself. Fortunately, thanks to a tip off from one of my YouTube viewers, and you know who you are, we now have a clinical study on the Nureva supplement. So in this investigation, 135 people, they're between the ages of 40 and 65, and their average age, if you're curious, was in their early 50s. In this paper, the people are split up into two groups. One group takes Nureva with water, either with or without food in the morning, and another group takes a placebo, and the study lasts for 42 days. And before we go any further, I do want to point out that these individuals are using the original Nureva formula, which is 100 milligrams of coffee cherry and 100 milligrams of phosphatidylserine. I bring this up because if you go looking for this, this supplement, you're going to see lots of different types of it. Some may have different vitamins in it as well, but if you want to stick with the product that actually has the research on it, it is the original formula that I'm talking about here. Now, as far as side effects are concerned, most people didn't report anything bad happening when they took Nareva. One person reported dry mouth, and that was really the only thing that was reported. I don't consider that really serious, but I'll throw it out to you in case you think it is. Now, after the 42 days were up, the people taking Nareva, many of them reported that they felt that they had better memories than before they took the Nareva supplement. The people were also given before and after memory tests, and I'm not familiar with the tests. I'm not an authority on this, and I'm not going to really talk about them too much here because, honestly, I think your eyes would glaze over if I started discussing them like my eyes started to glaze over. But I will say this. Some of the people who took the Nareva supplement scored better on some of these memory tests than those who took a placebo. For example, some people scored better on memory tests having to do with learning and memory and concentration. And while that's nice, I will point out that on other memory tests, there were no significant differences between those taking Nareva and those taking a placebo. For example, there were no significant differences between the supplement and the placebo in those who took memory tests called the Everyday Memory Questionnaire and another test called the Go No Go Test. There was one significant improvement in a test called the picture recognition test, so that's good. Now what's weird here is that when you look at the people taking the placebo on some of the memory tests, they also scored significantly better. How is that possible for placebo? Well, one possibility is that maybe the people grew accustomed to the test. And so maybe after 42 days, they may have remembered a little bit what it was like in the beginning of the study, and that may have caused them to perform better in the post-study. Now, another part of the study is where they measured levels of a substance called brain-derived neurotropic factor, BDNF, which is involved in learning and memory. Now, it would be nice if Nareva raised BDNF levels, but that does not appear to have happened here. There was no significant improvement in brain-derived neurotropic factor after taking Nareva for 42 days. Now, while that may not be great news for Nareva, I will point out that the people taking the placebo, they saw significant declines in their brain-derived neurotropic factor. So does this mean that maybe Nareva may help maintain BDNF levels? Maybe, it'll take more study, but I will point out that an earlier investigation showed that coffee cherry raised BDNF levels by over 140%. So for me, looking at the study from say the 10,000 mile view, it would appear that this investigation is a bit of a mixed bag. People said that they felt their memory had improved, and on some tests they did appear to score better than placebo takers, but in other tests they didn't score any better than those people who took a placebo. Now, if you're still with me, great, because I still have something else to tell you that's actually very important about this paper, and that is, who are the people in this paper? So they were reported to be 
healthy individuals who felt that they were having memory problems. In the paper, they called it self-reported memory problems. In other words, they were never formally diagnosed by a doctor as having dementia or Alzheimer's disease or other cognitive impairment disorders. In fact, in the paper, they even say people were ineligible if they were diagnosed with dementia or Alzheimer's or other memory problems. So what this means for you is if you have been diagnosed with dementia or Alzheimer's or other forms of cognitive impairment, I'm not sure from this paper if Nareva will work for you. Now, the good news here is if Nareva is going to work, you will know pretty quickly, like within about a month or so, because remember, this study lasted for 42 days only. If you've tried Nareva, leave a comment below. Let me know what happened. Let me know how long you took it, what type of Nareva you took, and let's try to move the needle forward and help other people.